lovelies I've got a bit of a different video today and haven't been doing my stash dive Tuesday or my scrap lift you because I haven't been able to talk so this is the first time in a week that I've got any voice at all oh, my fits. so I don't normally do unboxing videos but this one definitely warrants it anyway I need to give you a backstory about this so my beautiful friend Joy she lives in the UK and every few years she comes to Australia to visit her son who lives here as she was getting ready for her trip in one of the Facebook groups she asked me would you like me to bring you some dotty flair because they're based in the UK so it's um much cheaper to have it shipped to her and have her bring it and I said that I would and then Adam chimed in and said oh I'll send you some freebies too so that's nice of him then he fessed up and then he said it was an A5 box full because he got a bit carried away that's half of A4 now this is not quite A4 but it's darn close near enough to A4 so seriously, when did a handful of flair at most become A5 and then morph into A4? I don't know. Yeah, uh, Joy's daughter flew out a little bit later and she brought it with her because Joy flew out. It didn't hadn't caught, quite reached Joy before she flew out. So thank you very much to Joy for organising it and obviously to Adam and Joy's daughter who I have now called Flair Mule Jen. So I'm really sorry about my voice. Um, I hope it survives. Such a massive unboxing now I don't know what's in here I've only cut away the um, tape stuff so a lovely note from Adam thank you Adam oh lots of pink and green and some aqua now he asked me my two favorite colors so um, pink and aqua but Joy's favorite color is green and whenever I do layouts of Joy and me together I like to do them in pink and green for that reason so Seriously, Adam, what on earth has he done? I don't know if I'm going to be able to, um, if my voice is going to um, survive this, but there's a lot of this um, Bramble Fox stuff, which I really, I love the um, like laser cut epoxy type stuff. And this is gorgeous with the butterflies and the flowers. Oh, look at that. Fun sun, happy days stay wild funny that this should be in here because one of the layouts about the botanic gardens that I'm doing with joy I want to call it girls gone wild celebrate that will be nice for an anniversary incredible life at home yeah that's pretty right thankful oh it looks like one of the like um a newspaper thing now how am I going to go through this oh, cute little gnome I think some of these might be, um, yeah, he said, as well as some assemblage required wood piece from MK Gun. Oh, that gnome is so cute. There's so much detail to that. All right, now some of these are the flare and they're plastic packed, so they're not going to go all funny. You know, like some of the, the flare companies, there's certain types that do go rusty and certain types don't. Now, these look like they're not going to. And Adam makes all his flare by hand. And, and he had um, a rough couple of months where he wasn't well and he pushed through and seriously he didn't have to do this he honestly didn't have to do this so some of these are those um, epoxy ones and then some of these are uh, flare flare ones and I love both kinds a lot of his flare don't have any kind of uh, motifs or embellies so they're not solid like this one's a solid one but they just will go with anything oh my gosh the coffee I saw these on the site and I really really wanted them because if you know me you know uh, how much I love my coffee um, I'll link to uh, the Facebook group and and his shop and everything go and check him out okay this is what I'm going to do I'm going to arrange them in color order and if a few of them have themes that I can clearly recognize then I'll do that so here are the red ones some of them are the epoxy and some of them are the regular flare and what you can do and I have a video which I will link when I was on um, 
on the design team of an Aussie flare company. You can layer up, put things on top of the flare. Now I know some of you who don't like a lot of bulk or dimension on your pages will be gasping in horror, but I don't mind. So I took some fairly bulky embellies and then I took off whatever it was that was on the top of that and put some flare there because they were older embellies and I feel that flares are fairly modern, if you like, addition to scrapbooking embellies. So, yeah, anyway, so I give you red. The yellows and oranges. And the plus sign is particularly good for school layouts or it can work for hospital layouts or raindrops. You can think outside the box and use uh, different motifs for things that not necessarily what you would expect them. So I use you know, water droplets or, you know, raindrop motifs for um, getting, a, getting a drip in, in the hospital. And a street sweeper's coming. Not my day. The green ones in all different shades of green. I mentioned before it's my lovely friend Joy's favourite colour. I especially love the um, this, this sort of starburst looking one. And these flowers are so adorable. And the crazy hearts going every which way. I love it. Oh, there's more of that bokeh one. Next up there is blue and aqua, so there's the bokeh ones that I really like, more of the raindrops, the plus sign, um, I love this one with the grey. Max's school colours are black, purple and um, an aqua sort of teal sort of a colour, but I use a lot of grey in his in scrapbook layouts as well because um, the boys' trousers and shorts are grey, so it's kind of an unofficial addition to the boys' uniform. Purple ones in this cool toned purple and the warmer toned purple. So I use both kinds for Max's school album. Check, like, um, it's just a grit, but I particularly like that kind of pattern on school layouts. I love these sort of warped crazy looking zebra kind of lines and these flowers are so so cute. Pink ones, yay! There's this really really soft pink and oh, I love this one that has that sort of texture of paint having been scratched off and this one here is one of my favourites too, the, the pink wood grain can't get much better than that. And the bokeh. Look at all this multicoloured gorgeousness. I mean seriously, I absolutely love it. And some couple of blue ones that I missed and a green one with XOXO and some purpley coloured music notes so they're very cute and very versatile too and oh my goodness I can't stop looking at these I love how um, even the swirls are in rainbow order because I've got a thing about I mean don't, don't all of us have a thing about putting uh, rainbow stuff in rainbow order. The excuse is that it's you know it makes it more tidy, more usable when we do that. But really, I think it's for the aesthetic. Let's be real, right? All the black and white ones, which are very versatile. So there's a thank you and an I adore you, uh, and this love I'll put with them, and the travel ones. So. Is, like you might notice that in this one the O is a geotag which is pretty cool. I like the, the the quotes are quite unique. I've not seen this quote before, Wonder to find wonder, but I really like that. And obviously the coffee. I mean look, yeah, I, I don't I don't know what to say about coffee. It's rendered me utterly speechless. You cannot sing coffee's praises too much. I mean it it, it is what it is, so So 
So, uh, the comic book ones, which I absolutely love. For Wonder Woman stories and for comic stories. These two are awesome. They are the sort of old school retro type ones. And the paper planes are quite, they're quite versatile. There's lots of stories you can use those for. Um, there's still so many more on the Dodgy About Flair website that I really want. Not that Adam hasn't given me a great variety. These ones here are some that I kind of put in the random pile. Some party stuff and some houses. Anything with a home and a house motif is always going to be rather topical for the last two years. And another really cute butterfly it's sort of um, it has a kind of a distressed look to it which I really like butterflies are a great sort of generic symbol I guess you could say not quite as generic as hearts and stars but I just consider them as as one of those motifs that you can use for just about anything and did you know I'll do a max and I'll give you um, a random that butterflies can still fly with up to 70% of their wings damaged. They're a really great symbol of resilience and, and, and strength and all of that kind of thing. And I really, really, really love these two rainbows. The, the sort of hand-drawn whimsical kind of ones. Like I really love them. And a whole bunch of spring quotes. Live in the spring life. And I don't scrapbook chronologically. So we're going into autumn now, but it doesn't matter. I just scrapbook what I feel like when I feel like. So the last few layouts I did, some of them were, were from 2014, 2015. And I haven't got a problem scrapbooking spring now. And these are sort of, I grouped these together because they're kind of, um, they're, they're similar sort of style and they've got various formations of hearts. So again, I love the sort of hand-drawn kind of style. I can't draw to save my life, so I, that's why I scrapbook and stamp. And lastly, these ones again. Um, I have had a better look at them. Cat hair on the table, thanks Fitz. Yeah, I absolutely love the ones that have that, um, it looks like printed paper sort of stuff over the top yeah I can't tell you how much I love that sometimes I do that to stamp a a, uh, a newspapery kind of thing and then punch it out or punch from you know even old books what I have done before is go down to the op shop and, and pick up old books and actually tear out the pages like especially dictionaries and encyclopedias and things like that and um, use them as mats photo mats or to punch out the shape because they've got that really sort of oh, I forgot MK's gnome I'm seriously non compassmentous today that's yeah it's, it's not been a, a good week yeah thank you so much to to Joy to Flame Mule Jen and obviously thank you so much to Adam I cannot say thank you enough I really appreciate everything that he's done yes I am very thankful there you go you see what I did there so thank you Adam very very much and I appreciate everything and all the effort and you know being a fellow maker and a future girl boss I know what it takes to get this stuff to get this kind of thing done made by hand and if you're a crafter and you're watching the video you probably do too because you know scrapbook pages don't make themselves right so that's kind of why I'm going on and on about it. It's not like a mass produced thing that you thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can't wait to start using these and I will use them and my pages will be even more crazy, even more chunky and even more more. So thank you for watching and thank you Adam. Bye.